Hey, how's it going? I'm Josh from 91 Tech, and today I'm wearing contacts, and also we're gonna be doing something just a little bit different. Let's say I was your average consumer, and I needed an iPhone. Well, most people might go to Best Buy, or their local carrier, or eBay, but not me. No, I'm gonna go to Wish.com. Yeah, that's what we're doing today. We're gonna try to buy an actual iPhone from Wish.com. Not just a clone or anything, but an actual iPhone. So, that should be fun. We'll probably end up buying some other trinkets on there, so we'll see what happens. And luckily, I have money to spend, because today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. I'll have the full ad spot at the end of the video, but Skillshare, if you didn't know, is an awesome online learning platform. And if you click the top link in the description, first thousand people who do it will get two free premium months so you have access to all their courses. You might as well do it. Also, you should go join the Discord and follow me on Twitter and Instagram at 91 underscore tech. And uh, now I'm gonna go to my desk and we're going to try shopping on wish.com. Wish me luck. Get it? Because it's, it's wish? Do you get it? Okay, here we are. We've got, wow, this is a confusing site already. I have to actually sign in to get in. Are you kidding me? Okay. Free returns for 30 days. Wow. <laughs> I'm gonna blur it out just in case, but first thing I get is just like this dude in boxers from the back. So thanks for that, Wish. Wow, this is Wish, eh? We've got $4.65 earbuds. Are you kidding me? How do they even make it for that cheap? Look at this crap. It even works with PSP, apparently. What? Do PSPs have Bluetooth? Why are these phones so old? They're showing like iOS 4 phones? What is this? Reviews are surprisingly good. Probably fake. What is this? It's just fishing lures. What? What is Wish? This is insane. Okay, so I'm already super into this. Um, the masks, I guess, are probably a good deal. They're probably, you know, some effective. He got a <laughs> Red Bull tracksuit. That's cool. All right. What do you want to find? iPhone. Very much want to find iPhone. All right. So first thing we've got here is Airs 3 Pro. Wow. Those really look like AirPods Pro and they're pink for some reason. What, what is this? I like how they kept the white tips though. Why couldn't they have colored those as well? They did it for the black ones. Okay. Yeah. No, this, th these are scams. $25. Okay. These are going to be terrible. All right. Let's see here. So we actually have an iPhone. Look at this iPhone 11 satin Allen, what is what does this mean? We've got two stars positive one negative two. I'm guessing these aren't legit Also, I just got a oops error. That's weird uh, $687. I'm gonna go with a hard pass on that one. We've got the uh, P40 Pro. This definitely looks like an iPhone. You know it's good when they don't really have any kind of branding. They just call it the P40 Pro. $109 for a phone looking like this is actually surprisingly okay, I think, if it's actually any good. <laughs> Look at the, the bottom. They don't even crop it right for like the advertising image. Come on. iPhone 8, 64 gigabytes. This looks kind of legit, I guess. Is that Canadian? Does it know I'm Canadian? It does know I'm Canadian. Okay, so that's actually a decent deal if it's legit. What is this? Building art? Why is this in the iPhone section? Okay, here we go. i12 Pro. Now this is what I need. Hot sale smartphone i12 Pro with 12 gigabyte plus 512 gigabyte large memory 4G, 5G smartphone, 6.1 inch Android, mobile phone, touchscreen, dual card, fingerprint, face recognition, mobile phone. Wow. And you're selling it for $100? I highly doubt that's legit. I guess that's supposed to be like midnight green or whatever. That's not, that's so bad. MTK6799 Deca Core. Do they actually have Apple products on here? Oh, they do. Look at this. Okay. Is this an iPhone SC for $239? 16 gigs. Oh, that's a terrible deal. Yeah, no, this is probably legit, but it's also a terrible deal. Uh, we've got the iPhone 11 Pro Max for $1,800. And okay, I mean, that's probably legit. Yeah, none of this really looks that good. But uh, to Wish's credit, they do seem to have some genuine products, assuming you actually get what is pictured, which is probably a 50-50 shot. What is this? Mini microphone? What? <laughs> yes. Why? Oh my gosh, people bought it. It's actually, that looks bigger than it did in the picture, I feel like. What is this? Why? Oh, that's terrible. Who would use this? Okay, the crazy thing about this is they show like headphones being plugged in. Look how small those headphones are. What the heck? They're tiny. And besides your included earbuds have a microphone on it and it's probably better quality than whatever the heck this thing is. Although for 565, I mean, how can you go wrong? Another i12 Pro. 
The specs look pretty similar to that last one. In fact, I think it's exactly the same. Look at that. This looks legit. iPhone 7 from South Korea. Huh, brand new, hey? Like it's actually brand new. I wonder if it would still have iOS 10 on it. We've got, what is this? iPhone 10. That's a picture of a pro, man. <laughs> Size iPhone 10 black. That's uh, not a good deal for an iPhone 10. And you have a picture of an iPhone 11 Pro. I'm not sure how to feel. Original iPhone 5 unlocked mobile, almost new. So it's like a, it's just a used iPhone 5. You know what? That's actually okay. 104 bucks for 32. That's not, I guess, a terrible deal for an iPhone 5. But I wouldn't buy an iPhone 5 from Wish. It's probably got a ton of scratches and crap on it. Now, if it was brand new, I'd be interested because maybe it would have iOS 6. Uh, this is a uh, used iPhone 5C for $99. Who who are buying these old iPhones off of Wish? 3.8 stars. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. That is a very thin phone, sir. In fact, I think uh, these later pictures do not look anything like this one. That looks like a piece of paper. <laughs> what are these text messages? Ready for our next adventure? Tickets go on sale Friday. The festival lineup looks amazing. $149. And again, it looks the same as those other phones we saw. These like AirPods Pro with a smaller case. Actually, that's kind of cool. It's like a mix between the Pros and like regular AirPods. I kind of like that actually. Huh. Ultrasonic air humidifier with color lights. Essential oil aroma diffuser. That's how you know it's legit. It has essential oil in the name. One dollars. That's, uh, that's, that's, that seems sketchy. Also, is it actually that big? Because that is huge. <laughs> this, okay. <laughs> this is clearly a stock photo where a TV is supposed to, like, be here and they're holding a remote for a TV and instead they're controlling this ginormous humidifier. <laughs> This is just terrible. Uh, I got a Switch box for $36. That seems like a lot. Refurbished iPhone 5S. Lots of refurbished stuff. Got another like ultra thin, Im impossibly thin phone. Uh, although this one, I'll say in the rest of the photos, they actually, it looks about as thin as they're holding it there. Maybe a little thicker. That's uh, impressive. $122. Oh, this is a new Mate 40. They don't say Huawei in the name though. So I'm kind of uh, guessing it is not legit. And we have one negative review. Diamond painting cross stitch, a DIY diamond embroidery, blah, 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 blah. What is, what? Why is this showing up for iPhone? i11 Pro, here we go. <laughs> Normally over two grand. That's more expensive than the newest iPhone. Weird. <laughs> the crop job on these are terrible. Look at that, the Photoshop job here. Yeah, no, that's not worth the $200. Are you kidding me? New upgrade. <laughs> <laughs> what number is this even? 10 million milliamp hours, I think. 10 million milliamp hours. 2020 newest 10 million milliamp hour. Huge capacity power bank digital, blah, blah, blah. External battery charger full. Okay, 10 million? Oh my gosh, and it's wireless charging? Is that what that's supposed to be? I don't think you can wirelessly charge from the top though. It came with chips on the side and scratches on the bottom. Really? That's all that was wrong with this? iPhone 6 refurbished 16 gigs, $201. Really? That's terrible. Although you can tell when something's legit because it's like way too expensive for what it should be. Uh, we've got a, oh my gosh, 990,000 milliamp hour battery bank. Uh, in all fairness, at least this one is bigger than the other one. And also it actually looks kind of cool. I like the digital readout there. That's neat. The technology is obviously lacking. You know, it's not the 2020 newest because as we know the other one somehow had 10 million milliamp hours so this is just not up to snuff honestly i'm kind of disappointed i was hoping for more iphone knockoffs but there haven't been that many <laughs> this the searize 5 <laughs> they have it right in the title but they call it the searize 5 I kind of want to get this. Oh uh, yes, I could use a Serize 5 without call dial or with call dial. Definitely without. Two reviews. Husband liked the feel. $44 fake Apple Watch. Cool. I'm kind of more interested in the Serize 5 myself, but that might just be me. Uh, this is the P40 Mini. <laughs> so, you know, the famous P40 we keep saying around. This is the mini version. Android 9.1. Yeah, so far this is about as bad as I expected. I'm gonna... Hold on. What? One dollar? One dollar for this. Wow, that's actually pretty good reviews for something on Wish. Yeah, let's get that. I mean, it's only one buck. Why not, right? I do want a drone. Screw this. I think I'm gonna buy an iPhone 5C and see what we get. So $100 for a grade A iPhone 5C. Let's go with 16 gigabytes. We'll get 16 gigabytes in a color I don't have. Um, I'm thinking pink. 
I do already have blue and yellow. We'll see what we get. It's refurbished. It's too much money, but uh, you know, decent rating for the seller. It'll probably be better than any iPhone clone we would get. Oh, I've heard of these. These are those game cases that have Mario on the back. That's kind of cool. We'll get one for my iPhone 11 Pro Max in, uh, we'll go with black. Okay, so I found a drone, $33, 1080p camera. It looks okay, I think. I'm curious to see how it holds up. Uh, apparently it's ultra HD, yet 1080p, so there's that. 1080p, 40 bucks actually. That's not bad, let's give this a shot. Oh my gosh, look at, oh, that's... <laughs> These are terrifying. Oh my gosh. Oh, gross. Oh, that's nasty. Who would buy these? Oh. <laughs> no. Just no. Wireless Bluetooth speaker for $1. And it looks like that? Sure, why not? Okay, so here's the final cart. We've got a $1 Bluetooth speaker, a $40 drone. We've got a $26 Game Boy case thing. We have an $108 refurbished iPhone 5C. We have a $1 GoPro thing. And we've got a Mate 40 Pro for $94. It runs Android 10, so I'm curious to see what shows up. $52 in shipping, 322 bucks for all this crap, holy. Okay, wow, that was a lot of fun. I ended up spending over 300, actually not quite. I ended up uh, actually throwing in a ton of promo codes. So I got it down to more like 270 Canadian. Also that GoPro thing, I ordered it and they canceled it on me probably because they realized a dollar for that was a ridiculously good deal. So thanks a lot, Wish. About par for the course of what I expected. Also recording this after, they also canceled my $26 Game Boy case. So yeah, uh, don't expect reliability when it comes to Wish. I am a little bit disappointed that two things were canceled that I already bought. You wouldn't really get away with that on eBay but it's Wish, so I guess who cares? Anyways, uh, we'll have a follow-up video once all those things arrive in probably two years. <laughs> but until then, thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring this video and letting me blow my life savings on Wish. Skillshare is a site that offers thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people on topics including illustration, design, photography, video, freelancing, and so much more. For less than $10 a month with an annual subscription, which is like, what, two Starbucks coffees a month, you can have access to all of Skillshare's courses and fend off your quarantined madness by actually learning something. You'd be surprised at what you can do when you put your time and effort into actually learning something. It's actually amazing. I myself am absolutely able to use Skillshare, learning necessary skills for my job, like upping my B-roll and photography game, and my editing game for that matter, with advanced video editing with Adobe Premiere and any video editor you can possibly think of. The first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the top link in the description will get two free premium months of Skillshare. That's a steal of a deal. Literally, it's free. How can you go wrong? So you might as well go sign up and give it a shot. After all, what's the worst that could happen? You actually learn something? Anyways, huge thanks to Skillshare for making this video possible. Again, go check them out. Helps the channel out, and even better than that, it could really help you out too. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you found it interesting, maybe hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content just like this. You can follow me over on Twitter and Instagram at 91 underscore tech. Thanks again for watching. I'm Josh from 91 Tech, and I will We'll see you all next time.